Hello guys, welcome to my class. Last time, we talked about electrical installation and maintenance, alright? About tools and equipment used in electrical wiring installation. What are those? We have screwdrivers, we have liars, we have hammers, wire stripper, hacksaw, and we also have supplies and materials. Like, for example, convenience outlet, mail plug, all right, fuse, circuit breaker, utility box, connectors, pumps, and many more. For today, we will talk about the common electrical wire splices and joints, all right? What is the difference between splices and joints? This place is a junction or joining of ropes made by splicing them together, while joint is the point where two components of a structure join, but are still able to rotate. Ayan, ibig sabihin, splices and joints, ito yung dalawang kable ng kuryente na kung saan pagdudugtungin mo, pagsasamahin mo sila. In order for you to make electrical wire connection, alright? As a student in electrical installation and maintenance, you should acquire the important knowledge and skills in wire splices and joints and should be familiar with the actual application of every splice and joint. Alright? As a student like you, no, kailangan nyo na magkaroon ng kaalaman kung paano gumawa no, ng mga splices and joints or this will serve as your tool in performing actual wiring installation. Of course, another factor is the knowledge in interpreting and analyzing the wiring diagram, especially if the circuit is complicated. As a student, you should know how to interpret and analyze the wiring diagram in order for you to properly install the wiring connection. All right? Wires are one of the important thing to be considered in electrical system. Napakahalaga. No, na malaman nyo kung gaano ka importante yung mga wires when it comes to electrical wiring installation. They are the components where electricity pass through. Without them, electricity conduction may not be possible. Kasi kung wala tayong wire na gagamitin, hindi tayo magkakaroon ng kuryente ng supply ng electricity. Alright? Another thing we have to consider is that wires are not permanently connected. Joints are unavoidable in wires. Connecting them is one of the things that should be taken properly. Kaya kapag pinagdurugtong natin yung mga wire, mga kable ng kuryente, dapat maingat tayo. Alam natin kung paano. Alright? Connecting wires Securely is referred to as splicing or joining. To be considered well done, a joint must be mechanically sound. Alright? That means there will be a good electrical connection. Kapag maayos yung pagkakalagay natin ng mga wire, maayos yung pagkakadugtong natin ng mga wire, no? maayos yung magiging daloy ng kuryente. Alright? Next, we have common electrical wire splices and joints. What are those? The first one, rat tail or pig tail. Ayan. Rat tail or pig tail, this kind of joint is commonly used to join two or more conductors inside the junction box. And ito yung kadalasan na ginagawa natin or ginagawa ng mga workers mga electricians, no? Kapag magdurugtong sila ng mga kable na kuryente. Alright? Also known as a twist splice or pigtail splice. It's a very basic electrical splice that can be done with both solid and stranded wire. Ayan. It is made by taking two or more bare wires and rubbing them together symmetrically around the common axis of both wires. Yung dalawang kable ng kuryente, pagdidikitin mo lang yan. Alright? As you can see on the picture. Ayan. And then, ipapaikot mo lang sila. Okay? I-rotate mo sila. Nang sa ganun, 
makagawa ka ng rat tail or pig tail splice. Alright? I will show you the video on how to make rat tail or pig tail. Credit to the owner of this video. Why splice? This method of wrapping is generally used on small cables because the stands are flexible and all can be wrapped in one operation. As you can see, yung ginagamit nilang wire dito, napaka flexible. Madali mo lang siyang may iro-roll dun sa wire na gagamitin mo. Alright? A Y splice joint, also known as a top splice connects a conductor to a running wire, you will need to remove about 1.5 inches of insulation from the running wire. Ayan, depende yung balat ng kuryente na aalisin mo. Depende yon sa laki at haba na gagawin mo. Alright? That is why splice. Now, I will show you a video no, on how to make why splice. Ready to the owner of this video. Knotted top. This is used where the top wire is under heavy tensile stress. Meaning to say, knotted top or top joint is a very strong joint and will not use even enough strain is placed upon it. Alright, kung magigida nyo. Yung iniroll na wire, kung magigida nyo, nasa under heavy tensile stress siya. It is occasionally used in practice, particularly for temporary lightning. Ayan, kung magkikita nyo, pabalatan mo siya ng 3 inches. Pero, depende yan dun sa kung ano yung gagamitin mo o kung ano yung gagawin mo. Kung gaano kahaba o kaikli yung babalatan mo. Depende yan. I will show you a video on how to make knotted top. Alright? Ready to the owner of this video.
Okay, next. Plain tab join. Plain tab join is used to greatly extend joining a tab or other conductor to a true conductor. As for example, a branch or main circuit, okay, to meet the joint, is skin the top wire about 2 inches and the main wire about 1 inch. To better understand, I will show you a video on how to make plain top joint, okay? Aerial tap. This is used as a temporary tap usually done in construction sites. Ito yung mga kadalasan ginagamit or ginagawa sa construction site. No? The easy twist will facilitate top wire movement. Kung magkikita nyo, napakadali lang niyang gawin. Okay? I-rotate mo lang yung wire. Because aerial tap is mostly used on outside work or in location where wires are subjected to considerable movements. It is done through looping wire to other with large gap on the first and second loop. Ayan, kung magkikita nyo, for first rotation, medyo malayo siya. First and second loop to serve as a space when movement is needed. Ayan, the rest must be looped tightly. Kaya magkikita nyo, yung first to second loop, medyo malayo siya. The rest, magkakadikit na siya. Okay, that is aerial tap. I will show you a video on how to make aerial tap. Credit to the owner of this video. Okay. Aerial tap joint, we will use 4 inches and a 3.5 inch wire. Same as the plain tap joint. Okay, so this is now your 3 inches wire. Okay. For your 4 inches wire, same as plain top, you will leave 1 inch at each corner. Okay? So this is the 4 inches wire. And this is a 3.5 inches wire. Just like the plain top, you will twist it, but on the first twist, The first twist is separated from the next twist or until the final twist or final turn.
duplex cross joint. This is a two-top wire turned simultaneously and is used where the two-top wire is under heavy tensile stress. Alright. Ibig sabihin, yung dalawang wire, sabay na inikot yan. Simultaneously. Tuloy-tuloy. Okay? Because duplex cross joint is somewhat similar to ordinary cross joint but done through looping two wires simultaneously. As you can see, duplex cross joint Use where the two top conductors need to extend away from the branch conductor in the opposite direction. Ayan. Kaya makikita nyo, opposite sila, di ba? Magkatapat sila. Duplex cross joint is somewhat similar to ordinary cross joint, but done through looping two wires simultaneously to secure strength. Okay, para mas maging matibay siya, nirotate siya simultaneously. Tuloy-tuloy. Alright, mahigpit yung kanya pagkaka-rotate in order for it to strong or to secure its strength. Okay, I will show you a video on how to make duplex cross joint. Ready to the owner of this video. Western Union Short Tie Splice This is the most widely used splice or joint in interior wiring installation to extend the length of wire from the one point to another. Ayan, ito yung kadalasan natin ginagawa or kadalasan ginagawa ng mga electricians, ng mga workers na nagtatabaho o may alam tungkol sa electrical wiring installation. Alright? Western Union short tie splice widely used in interior wiring. As you can see, the only difference is it is done in small length of twisted loop than long tie. Kung makikita nyo, yung unang rotate niya medyo maikli lang. Unlike sa Western Union long tie splice. Kung makikita nyo mamaya, papakita ko sa inyo no? para makita nyo yung pagkakaiba nila. I will show you a video on how to make Western Union short tie splice. Credit to the owner of this video.
Western Union long tie. This is used extensively for outside wiring to extend the length of wire from one end to another. Ayan, kung makikita nyo, yung first to second to third and the rest, medyo malayo yung kanya spacing unlike sa Western Union short tie splice. Alright? It is used extensively for outside wiring. Yung kanina, yung short tie splice sa inside wiring. Alright? It is done using two equal length of number 14 solid wire that is twisted horizontally. Ibig sabihin, pahiga. Alright? To create a twisted loop. The remaining untwisted wire is looped around the other. Ayan, kung magkikita nyo, yung excess niya, tinwist around the other dun sa kabli ng kuryente. Okay, I will show you a video on how to make Western Union Long Tide Splice. Cross joint, the same application is done as in plain top. And the only difference is that this top is a combination of two plain tops placed side by side with each other. Ayan. Cross joint, this is used where two top conductors are to extend away from branch conductor in opposite direction from the main wire. Unlike sa plain top joint, magigita nyo, magkaiba sila. Ito, nasa na nasa middle sila, side by side. Okay? I will show you a video on how to make cross joint. Credit to the owner of this video.
next. Wrap top or T joint. This is used on large solid conductors where it is difficult to wrap the heavy top wire around the main wire. Okay, it wrap ni siya through the use of other wire. Okay, in order for you to make a wrap top or T joint, you will use another wire in order for it to rotate. All right, in order for you to make a T joint, I will show you a video on how to make wrap top or T joint. Credit to the owner of this video. Okay guys, now that we are done, no, ang mahalaga lang naman dito ay matutunan natin kung paano gumawa ng splices and joints. Nang sa ganon, para matuto tayo magkabit, magdugtong ng mga kable ng kuryente kapag tayo ay gagawa na. Alright? Nang sa ganon, matutunan natin kung ano ba yung iba't ibang paraan ng pagdurugtong ng mga kable ng kuryente. Alright? That's all for today, guys. I hope you have learned a lot. Thank you for listening, guys. Thank you for your time. Good day and God bless you all.